Alright, hi there. So in this video I'm making a tool rack to fit uh, screwdrivers, files, um, allen keys and um, tweezers and a few other bits, um, soldering probe. Uh, but yeah, I'm using Tinkercad here to design it and uh, this is a really simple online CAD program which you can uh, use in your web browser. I've been using this for quite some time now, mainly because I can't, uh, well, I haven't really got the time to learn AutoCAD. And uh, I already started learning how to use um, Tinkercad, so uh, that's what I'm using. And for most of the stuff that I do, uh, this is a pretty good program, I have to say. And I'm still, even now, learning um, little things about it, which is uh, good because it's uh, a good little program and I, I do actually quite like it. I just wish it wasn't web based, that's the only thing, because when my internet goes down uh, I don't actually lose it, it's just that uh, you can't continue um, editing with it unless you have got a web connection, which is unfortunate because uh, my web goes down quite, web, uh, my internet goes down quite often so you know that's quite a problem sometimes but as you can see here uh, I just like grabbing shapes at the so on the um, right hand side there you'll see there's a lot of different shapes that you can um, drag and drop onto the platform and then you can uh, resize that shape to whatever size you want um, and then just like add blocks together to make the project that you're going to you know design so as you can see there I've kind of like ex uh, extruded half of it out uh, because I'm going to uh, make half of it and then put where the screw hole is going to be and then uh, mirror this section and flip it and put it on the opposite side, you'll see it in a minute anyway and then I'll join both the parts together and then we will put the holes in for where the screwdriver is going to be but uh, yeah, it's a real simple program to use. And uh, what I'm going to do here is I don't really want to get this video to be too much over 10 minutes. So I'm going to kind of like uh, speed through some of the stuff. But it's a real simple program. If you go and sign up to Tinkercad, um, when you sign up, they actually show you a load of um, tutorials to help you start off to make it really simple to you know be able to build simple things and uh, when when you get good at it you know you can actually make some quite complex things there's a lot of people who have done some real complex design work within Tinkercad which uh, is uh, pretty amazing and uh, I'm glad Tinkercad's there because uh, like I say I haven't got the time to learn a proper um, computer aided design program and Tinkercad basically fills you know my need anyway for what I use it for most of the time hopefully sometime I'll be able to uh, learn Autodesk but at the moment uh, this program is pretty good Here are the tool racks that I designed. So I designed three different ones in total. Um, these two are pretty similar. It's just there's a few less 
uh, some holes and these holes are slightly larger this is for smaller screwdrivers and larger screwdrivers this one here is for larger screwdrivers and small files needle files and this one here is just for uh, larger screwdrivers yeah, I'm just going to quickly put them up on the wall and see what they look like Okay, so they're all complete, and I'm pretty happy with them actually, I've got to say. And they come out pretty nice. Uh, I'll put links in the description to the um, STL files if you want to print them off yourself. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe, hit that uh, subscribe button down below, and hit the bell icon next to it. That means then, next time I upload a video, you'll be notified. And also give this uh, video a thumbs up if you liked it, and also comment down below, let me know what you think. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye.